Chris, we're talk about um, whether or not your goal in the first quarter, which may have gone through for a point, may have showed the pace, may have gone through for a goal, the video review one, whether it was a goal or a point. What were your, your thoughts on the ground? Uh, my thoughts were initially it was a goal. Uh, as soon as I kicked it, uh, I felt that uh, looking straight up, it went through. Um, to see it called back um, it was a different story, but really couldn't tell from the vision when we were standing on the ground. I was pretty confident it was a goal, so um, I was glad it was given. Are you happy with the review system? I mean, just in general or in the league? Um, yeah, I think so far it's been um, been trialled out and um, different cases and different scenarios have come up, but all in all it's, um, it's doing the job that's expected of it. The other thing that's been revealed today is the game went for 37 seconds longer than it should have, and so technically the last goal for Hendai shouldn't have shouldn't have counted. It's, um, it appears some luck may or may not have fallen your way. Are you pretty happy with the, way? With the, the fact that the luck's on your side, points? Um, yeah, you can say that. Football's a, a funny game. Things happen and and different scenarios come up uh, with situations like that, but um, we're, we're very happy with, with the way it's ended and, and coming over the four points. Are you breathing a sigh of relief? It was one that could have um, ended yeah, a bit differently for you guys. Uh, well, Gold Coast are a great side. They're, they're slowly improving. Um, they've got such great talent down at the club and um, they really showed it on the night. And, and for us to, um, to come away with the four points after a shaky start but really got going in the second half um, is... Definitely good for ourselves, but yeah, Gold Coast are a great side and, and they're going to be challenging sides in the future. What about your game, Chris? You, uh, you stepped up, you kicked some crucial goals. Are you happy with it? Um, yeah, I was, I was just happy I did a part of uh, my role for the team. Um, things that was asked for me about pressure and, and uh, in the end getting results on the scoreboard, but through the hard work of our defence um, and midfielders, I was able to do that. Did you have to, um, in that three-quarter time huddle, what was the message? Was it... Mentally, you know, did you did you guys have to have to lift an extra? extra we just gear? knew the job wasn't done. Um, we 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 came out in the first half and and didn't play our best footy. And uh, in the third quarter, we got going, so we knew there was still a job to do, um, and we had to make sure that we finished off strong. Stephen Hill, he's uh, got a cork. Is there anything more than that? Do you know? Um, all I know of now, yeah, it is a cork. Uh, he, you know, he, he copped it really early and and was struggling to get out of gear. Stephen does uh, give it his all every time, so it was unfortunate that he couldn't carry on, but um, we had a, our debut, Lee Spur, come in and did a terrific job. What was the most concerning part of the game for you guys? <clears throat> um, oh, I just think more the, uh, probably the consistent effort across the board, um, just with everyone really buying in, giving great effort, um, everything that we expect of each other. Um, was probably the thing that we've got to keep working on and I think that's important for this weekend's game against Port Adelaide to really just keep pushing to have a four quarter effort so I think that's what we're looking for next week. Did you, un did you underrate the Suns at all? No, not at all. Um, I think I said that earlier in the week that they are an up and coming side, they've great. They've got great talent there um, and I think uh, some of their young class showed it on the night so you know they're going to be pushing other teams in the future and um, we're just happy that we came with the four points. Personally for you, you've been rewarded this year on the scoreboard more than what you have in the past, you've always had the pressure act, but haven't necessarily kicked as many goals as what you are now. Is it nice to look up and say, you know, I've kicked 10 goals for the year so far and tipping the score, ticking over personally? Um, for myself, it's never really been about kicking goals. I know that's probably part of my role um, up forward, but it's, it's about doing what I can for the team. It's not about who kicks the goals as long as we're kicking the goals. And, you know, I'm fortunate enough to, to get on the end of some um, from the pressure and acts of my teammates from defence and mids. And being able to get on the scoreboard then, but you know, if, if we win and I don't kick any, that still doesn't bother me. How's the, the body after a fairly long ride home? Yeah, it was a very long ride home. Out on the bus, and probably five and a half hours on the plane, but uh, body's going well. And I think uh, with the close work with the physios and the fitness staff, um, everyone's doing everything possibly to uh, get themselves right for the next weekend's game. What is what's the thought between behind not staying the night and getting <coughs> back here at an ungodly hour? I think most of us after a game struggle to sleep as it is, um, so the thought process is to get back and get straight into recovery, get straight into our routine um, and anything uh, little niggles wise, people able to get scanned straight away, um, able to get into treatment straight away, so for us to get back and to get into our routine, our recovery as quick as possible gives us a better chance for us to get up for the next week, next weekend's game. So this, it's preferable for you to, to come home straight after the game rather than to sleep the night then? Yeah, well, we're, we're back now. This morning we'd be travelling instead now. We're recovering. We're getting ready. Um, we're getting ready for next weekend's game against Port Adelaide. So it gives us a day extra just to get ready and prepare for the weekend's game. Were you staying overnight when you played night games in the state last year or were you, or were you still doing the... the uh, I think we started it last year when we started to come back after games no matter what. we uh, 
we would catch the red eye if we have to, but it's to get back and, and start preparing for the weekend's games. So you're carrying ice under planes and, st and stuff like that? Yeah, we have, uh, we have ice machines. Uh, we have our physios there on board, our docks as well. So everything possible on the plane, if you need a spare seat to put your leg up and to, to get the prep started, uh, that's what we do. So pretty professional and um, we aim to make sure that we are able to recover better and uh, get ready for the next weekend. Is, is there a hierarchy for that? Who gets the spare seat in between? Uh, Does Pav get one extra? Not really. I think it's more the respect from the younger players to know that the senior players have been there before um, and their understanding of their bodies. Um, they're able to get preference of, you know, if there's business class seats or seats with uh, extra room. So, you know, us as younger players understand that and, um, you know, one day it'll be for us as well. So what time do you get the airport if you're on a Gold Coast last night? Uh, I think we got there roughly, um, would have been around 11 o'clock. Um, you had dinner and stuff in advance? Yeah, we, we, uh, with our nutritionist Beth, she um, is all over that. She had um, all our food ready to go on the bus. When we got to the airport, a snack as well to go for on the plane. Um, so all our food, nutrition, water um, was taken care of prior to uh, getting on the plane. You don't go somewhere and do a swim recovery, it's just straight from the ground to, to the airport? The yeah, we, we've got our protocols when we finish the game um, with our you know, quick flush massage, our ice bars, into stretching, and then getting the importance of nutrition and um, refueling with aqualite and water, getting ready for um, you know, the big trip ahead of us, but to make sure we're putting the right stuff in our body to get ready for the you know, recovery in, in the next week's game. How much sleep have you had right now? Uh, I got to bed uh, early this morning, but um, I've had a good enough sleep to uh, thank God they put uh, the injury cleaning on a little bit later today, <laughs> but um, it allows obviously boys to get a good sleep in, then uh, come and uh, start recovering. So at home about 4am? 4, 4 yeah, roughly around then. Different. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No worries. Thanks for that.